48 Podcast. Dom Damali here. What's up, you guys? Back with another Pretty Little Liars review. Today, I will be reviewing 610 Game on Charles. Okay. What's up, you guys? Um, I'm back with this Pretty Little Liars finale review. Um, the finale for Pretty Little Liars as we have known it. As we all know, we're going into a time jump. It's going to be a different show. At least we hope. <laughs> before I turned on my mic, before I turned on my uh, recording software, I was sitting here trying to figure out how I was going to recap and review this episode. Should I go scene by scene? Should I do a discussion? And I still don't know. (laughs) Right now, I'm in a very disappointed and let down stage. And honestly, I started not to even do this recap today. Um... I wanted to do it later on this week once I got out of my disappointed phase and uh, once I watched the episode again. But I know that everybody likes to recap shortly after. So, yeah, y'all are going to get what y'all get. (laughs) Uh, I, I will probably post another video later this week once I've watched the episode again. And, you know, hopefully I'm out of the disappointed phase by the end of this week. And uh, y'all could probably get some, you know, some funnier things and some more livelier, um, a more livelier recap period. But, um, yeah, y'all could probably tell by my voice right now that I'm just like not even feeling it. (laughs) I'm not even feeling it right now. And it's early in the morning. So, okay. CC Drake was revealed as Charles and A. And to be honest with all of you, I'm not as disappointed about that as I am about pretty much everything else in the episode. The episode period. If y'all can think back to before season six aired, I posted a video titled Could CC, Could CC Drake be Big A? I think that was the title of it. If y'all don't remember, <clears throat> if you didn't get to listen to that video, um, go back to my channel. It should be the the first or last video, whichever way you're viewing it. And um you know, listen to it because in that video, I broke down the possibility of CC being Big A and maybe having something to do with this whole Charles situation. I broke down someone's Tumblr post because I had never seen a CC Drake could be a post that was that good. I mean, the post was so good, it convinced me. That CC could be a possibility. I don't remember the post. But if you go back to the video. I shouted out the post. I shouted out the the name of the person. Or the Tumblr page. And um, y'all can go from there. If y'all are curious. But. That video. I mean not that video. But that post convinced me that. She could be a possibility. Um. I later on settled on Ren because it was just obvious to me. It was obvious after some time, after the season went on, that Ren would be the obvious choice. Um, But, you know, obviously he wasn't the obvious choice because it ended up being CeCe. But, yeah. So... I'm not really that disappointed about CeCe being a big A, Charles, whatever you want to call it. I'm more disappointed about the transgender whole situation. And I will explain. 
first of all they lied and i know all of y'all are probably like yo they lie all the time but i just have to address the fact that they lied and said that they were not doing the transgender theme storyline whatever they weren't putting it in there second of all I personally thought that the transgender theme storyline would just be too much. It's just too much to think about. After five years, after five years, five seasons, four or five, whatever the hell it is, after this long of a time trying to figure out who this a is you are telling me that i was supposed to come up with some goddamn transgender fucking shit get who like i said <laughs> it was just too much for me um i felt as though It was just too much to think about. It was too much to piece together. It was too much to come up with. And I just didn't like. I just didn't like that. That possibility of it being a transgender. I just didn't like it. And you know. Please don't. You know. Put words in my mouth. Switch up. You know. My meanings. I have nothing against transgenders. Or anything like that. I just thought that. I just thought that it should have just it should have been easier than that after after four or five years however fucking long it has been it just shouldn't have been that fucking complicated you know what I'm saying why does it have to be that complicated if it's gonna be a goddamn guy let it be a guy if it's gonna be a girl let it be a girl but fucking just make it some type of way where it you know just not that complicated it was just too that part to me was just too complicated after four to five years but that's my personal opinion um cc gave us a few answers this episode about uh several different things i don't remember (laughs) every single thing that she gave us answers answers about but i do remember a few things um she admitted to you know uh going to see mona she admitted driving the car into emily's house and uh well she admitted a few things (laughs) i don't remember um i'm pretty sure you guys remember she admitted just a bunch of things that she did and i do even though i'm disappointed with this episode i do want to shout out vanessa ray because her acting was very good it was great considering what she had to deal with (laughs) um considering where her character was taken to she did a great job she really did cc also revealed to us who red coat and black veil was and this is where my disappointment really starts to set in by the way uh during the episode on the commercial breaks i recorded live reactions so i may post that um after this video or um or uh just in its own separate video i haven't decided how i'm gonna do that yet but after red coat and black veil were revealed y'all will hear (laughs) my disappointment in that i just don't i just and i'm really trying not to go on a rant right now because i just don't even feel like it but i really don't understand the logic in making sarah harvey both red coat and black veil look like i said in my live reaction i could see her being red coat 
even though that shit just really doesn't make sense if you really go back and break everything down i could still see it but her being black veil as well to me i feel like they copped out i really do to me i feel like they said you know what <laughs> we gonna make her uh red coat and black veil like i really i really think they chose the easy way out there like they didn't want to have to sit and, and think fucking intelligently about somebody else being one of these. They were just like, you know, we, we don't feel like doing this shit. So we are just going to make her both of these. Like, I really feel like they were fucking doing that in the writer's room. Like, I really feel that way. Because how? And I say Black Veil because that's what we've been calling it for years. But it's originally Black Widow. That's the whole thing that Marlene came up with. So if it's a widow, how the hell is Sarah Harvey a widow? I'll wait. Yes, I'm disappointed that Black Widow wasn't the person that I wanted it to be. That we all wanted it to be. Because I think pretty much all of us thought and wanted it to be Melissa. Every post that I've seen on Tumblr, Twitter, whatever, has said that they expected it to be Melissa, whether they wanted it or not. Because it was just, it was like Ren B and A. It was just, it couldn't be nobody else. You know what I'm saying? It just couldn't. <sighs> of course, I'm disappointed that it wasn't Melissa. But even if it wasn't Melissa, I wanted it to be someone that we fucking seen for more than fucking, what, 10, 9 episodes? I don't know how many episodes Sarah has been in this season. She may have been in all of them, but who gives a damn, okay? I wanted it to be someone who has been in more episodes than she has, who has had a bigger fucking point to the story, a bigger background, a bigger storyline. I posted on Tumblr. I would have been happier if Jenna was somewhere in this shit. Blonde Jenna, not Jenna. Oh, Jenna can see this whole big reveal. No, blonde fucking Jenna being one of these motherfuckers. I would have been happier with that, with this bitch bumping into walls and shit, trying to get these girls. At least that would have been funny. At le you know what I'm saying? At least that would have been comical. At least. Sarah Harvey being Red Coat and Black Veil was just the biggest disappointment. The biggest letdown that I think I've had in Pretty Little Liars history. And I just want to say I've had a lot of disappointments. I've had a lot of letdowns. But for her to be black, for her to be both. Just both, period. It's just very disappointing. I remember I remember back to the first time I saw Black Veil. Wilden's funeral. When the girls were standing off to the side and Black Veil came out. And they were like, oh my God, who was that? And actually, that's not even the first time we've seen her. Because we saw her walk into the funeral. But the whole big, you know, the whole big you know reveal of the, the big part of it was when she walked out to get into the limo that's when everybody was like oh well, you know who is that you know i remember that scene like it was yesterday i remember watching that episode like it was yesterday i remember being excited trying to figure out and trying to break down who black veil could be i remember you know writing you know everybody's name down all the females and and their sizes and who could actually fit in that dress <laughs> because that person was like a size zero and who could possibly be black veil black widow whatever i remember the excitement that i had and for them to say is sarah harvey someone that we didn't even know when that goddamn episode came out
that has to be the biggest letdown for me. It it has to be. And I understand a lot of people out there are really disappointed about Ren not being A. And you know what? I'm okay with CC being, you know, big A or Charles or whatever the hell. But I'm let down about that too. Because I really thought it was going to be Ren. But I really think I'm more let down about this whole Black Veil situation. Because it just it just doesn't it do, it doesn't make any motherfucking type of sense to me right now in in this moment i just don't i, I am completely confused right now about everything that I saw last night. I'm okay with the fact that CC is A or whatever the hell. But I'm just confused. I'm just still confused about everything. I'm confused about things that they never answered. I'm confused about what Maya knew. I'm confused about who's Lucas's girlfriend. I'm confused about why Melissa... Uh, went to Shauna and Jenna's house and told them that the bitches were gonna be at the lodge, uh, and and then that we that was never explained why. I'm confused about where the fuck is Ren. I'm confused about where is Jenna, and if she got drowned because she knew about Allison, why was that never brought up? And if she if Shauna said, oh she's afraid of Cece, why was that never addressed? I'm confused about who killed Garrett. And in that interview that Marlene did, by the way, Marlene did an interview answering questions. She said that Wilden put Ari in a box and killed fucking Garrett because Garrett was going to snitch on him. Well, why the hell did Mona say Melissa was there too? So we just not going to address that? We're not going to address that it was two fucking people there. See, that's what pisses me off, yo. That's what really pisses me off. And I said I wasn't going to go on a rant, but I just I just can't right now. I just can't. This bitch. Yes, bitch. She is a bitch now. Marlon King is a fucking bitch now because she wrote this fucking bullshit of an episode. She hyped us up for six fucking years on this fucking bullshit that we got last night. She is a bitch now. She she has owned it. She has grabbed it, kept it, put it in her fucking pocket. It is hers. Okay? How the fuck do you sit here and do this fucking interview and answer these fucking questions like we were just supposed to know this shit? Like we were just supposed to figure it out. You didn't say it within the fucking episodes or within the fucking show, but you know what? They smart. They are fucking psychic and shit. They can just figure it out. Bitch, first of all, you said it was Wilden who did all of this, who put Arya in the box, who killed Garrett because he was finna snitch. But, y'all, call me, call me out if I'm wrong about this shit. Please call me out. But wasn't it two people moving the box? Maybe I need to go back and watch that motherfucking episode. Maybe I just don't remember correctly. But... If I'm recalling correctly, I remember two people moving that motherfucking box. I remember us seeing a glimpse of fucking two. Won't they in the fucking, um, they were in that outfit. It was two people in the same outfit and, uh, Wilden took off his mask and he was talking to the other one and Mona said that the other one was Melissa. So how the fuck is it just Wilden? And this, this is my problem with this show. So you just not gonna explain Melissa being there? And okay, fuck it. If it wasn't Melissa, I'm not, I'm not even on that. Whoever the fuck it was, you just not gonna explain. I don't care if it was fucking Spencer. I don't care if it was Hannah's mom. I don't goddamn care if it was goddamn Sean from season fucking th- two, one, whatever fucking season he was in. I don't give a fuck who it was. You, you just not gonna explain the shit. You just not going to explain the shit. <laughs> I mean, it's 
it's almost comical. I mean, if you guys have not seen that interview, read that interview, please go to it now. Please. Because it's one part in the interview, and I think it was about CC Drowner Jenna. This bitch had the nerve to say, you know what? This is something we haven't addressed during the show. CC drowned Jenna because Jenna knew that Allie was alive. I kid you not. This is what this bitch says. Please go look at the interview. Now, when you see that, scroll back up. I want, when y'all read that fucking part, I want y'all to scroll the fuck back up and read the other shit that she answers. Read the fucking part about Wilden doing all of this shit. And I want y'all to fucking ask y'all selves. Did she address any of that shit during the show? Did she address any of that shit during the show? The only thing that she thinks that she hasn't addressed during these fucking seasons is the whole Jenna shit. And she hasn't. But... She never told us in any season that Wilton was the one who put Arya in the box and that he was the only one that did it, even though we fucking seen two fucking people there. She didn't. Uh, she, hey, maybe I'm fucking. Maybe I missed an episode. Y'all let me know. Because sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I get up here and I'm mad and I'm ranting and I miss shit, okay? I'm honest about that. I don't give a fuck. I miss shit. I'm human. Maybe I missed an episode. Maybe I missed an interview. Ma- no, she said it. She said she revealed that shit during the show. So maybe I missed an episode. Maybe I missed a fucking season. Maybe I went to sleep and missed the whole season. I don't know. Let me know if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure most of the shit that she answered up there, she didn't fucking address in the show. So for her to sit there and say that that one thing about Jenna and Cece was the only thing she didn't address, that's why she has owned the fucking name, bitch. That right there is why she fucking gets that title. Bitch, aka, no, Marlene, aka, Bitch King. That's in her fucking name from now on. From now fucking on. And you lucky I don't don't fucking add idiot, Bitch King. You lucky... (laughs) You lucky I don't fucking add Marlene, idiot bitch king. You know what? Idiot bitch king. She has owned it. She got it. That's hers. She has coined that fucking phrase. She has owned it. It is fucking hers from now on, yo. It is hers from I can't. I can't anymore. And I've, throughout all of this bullshit, I've had so much respect for Marlene King. And y'all know I've defended her. I've said, you know what? She's not a bitch. I'm not going to go there. But at this point, I can't, I can't defend her anymore for all of these people who fucking just dislike her. Because in past episodes, she didn't write them. She didn't have anything to do with them. But this finale, she wrote. I don't know if she directed. I don't know what else she had her hands in. But I know for a fact she wrote this motherfucking shit. Okay? She wrote this bullshit fucking episode that let all of us fucking down. So she has the idiot bitch. She's the one who did that fucking interview and let all of us down. She is the blame for all of this fucking bullshit. Fuck ABC Family. Fuck uh, Brian Holdman and fucking Oliver and all of these motherfuckers who have a hand in all of this bullshit too. Fuck them because Marlon King is the one who came up with the whole CC being a idea who came up with the Sarah Harvey being both red coat and black veil and black widow she came up with that and she did this bullshit fucking episode she's the blame I'm done defending her I'm done defending this motherfucking show I'm done saying you know what it might get better or what I'm done I'm done I'm done with this shit I'm done I'm done with this show I'm done I don't have anything left inside of me to to just deal with this shit. 
I know this morning before I, you know, got up to make this video, I was, you know, on Tumblr on YouTube and looking at people's uh, recaps and, you know, reading what people had to say on on uh, Tumblr and everybody's breaking down, you know, the things that didn't get answered and then the things that don't make sense. And, you know, this is bullshit and, and this and that. And, you know, people are like, you know, just go. Everybody's mad. I've only seen maybe two people who were satisfied with the episode and they got torn to shreds. Now, I don't agree with that. If you enjoy the episode, go ahead. I respect you. I respect your opinion. Hey, do your thing. But they got torn to fucking shreds by people because they enjoyed this episode. <laughs> it's almost funny. You know what I'm saying? But the everybody is, you know, mad. Everybody's going off about it. And I'm just, I'm just like, you know what? It's a lot of shit that didn't get answered. And we knew that. Even though we hoped because they hyped it up and said that we would. We knew that we weren't going to get these answers. We knew that it was no way that they was going to be able to make this shit make complete sense. Unless it was Ren. Unless it was Ren. We all knew that. We all fucking knew that. We knew that. And that's why I didn't get on Tumblr and post things and sit here and stress out about what we don't know. Because we're never going to find it out. We're never going to find it out. We're never going to find any of this shit out. We're never going to find any of this shit out. Never. It's a time jump. We're moving on. And that's why it's Marlene, idiot bitch king. That's why she has fucking earned that name. I could sit here and I could say how <laughs> this show has so much potential and how we could have did amazing things and and you know and what I think about this and all the unanswered questions and and this scene and that scene and I could fucking sit here and try to crack jokes and and whatever the f I could I could do all of these things but at this point it's just I just don't even fucking want to at this point at this point I'm just I'm just done and it's crazy because I thought I was done weeks ago <laughs> when this when this season started and it was episode two I thought I was done then I thought I was done then that I was tired of that show tired of this bullshit of a show then then but this this feeling that I feel now is like done for like this is the for real done like this is the for real you know what I can't even deal with this bullshit no more I'm done like this is that done the done when it's funny you're not even hurt anymore your feelings are not hurt anymore you're not stressed about the shit no more you, you you're just done it's funny is that that's the done that I'm at now that's the done that I'm at now. We all know that done. We've all been hurt before by whoever in our life. And it, it was it, it's like the part where you're past being confused, being hurt, wondering. Like you're just past all of that shit. And it's just like, you know what? Why the fuck was I even watching this bullshit? Like that's the done that I'm at right now. People keep saying they wasted six years of their life. Whatever, whatever, motherfucker. People are saying this show has no replay value. Bruh. <laughs> I, I have to agree. I have to agree. Before this season, I could go back and look at, you know, season one, two, and three. I could even go back to look at season four because season four has um the best outfits to me on spencer i should say spencer because she's you know the only one i really watch for the outfits season four she was the motherfucking best dressed okay so i could even go back and rewatch season four season five was the only one i was like i ain't trying to watch this bullshit but after this season i don't want to watch any of this shit anymore i don't want to go back to the fucking pilots i don't want to go back to my favorite episodes the halloween shadow play i don't want to go back to any of this shit any of it i don't want to go back to look for clues that it was cc i don't want to go back to look at any of this motherfucking shit 
any of it. I don't even want to hear about a past episode. I got on Tumblr this morning and was reading some of the shit. I couldn't even stay up that long. I couldn't even stay up there because I, I can't. I can't anymore. I can't. Y'all, I'm done. I, I got to I gotta fucking cut this shit off because it's on 30, 30 minutes now. It's, it's, it's probably going to go past that. But um, I, I, I got to stop. This probably won't count as the recap review. I'll probably have to come back and do another one. Going through more of the scenes and stuff like that to happen. Because I know y'all want to know how I feel about that shit. But like I said in the beginning of this motherfucking shit. I'm disappointed. I'm in the disappointed let down phase right now. And I can't. Like there's no happiness. There's no joy within me. When it comes to pretty little liars. I can't even. Sometimes I. You know when I'm hurt or whatever. I can dig deep down and pull some fucking happiness and joy out about this bullshit of a show but i can't even do that right now like there's none there there's none there's none for this show right now so i'm gonna have to come back and and do scene by scene i really am for y'all because i just but this this ain't even a fucking recap this ain't even (laughs) this ain't a recap this ain't a review i don't even know what to call this shit I don't even know. What what should we call it? Fucking six ten rant. That's what I'm gonna call it. This is about to be the six ten rant. So fucking click at your own fucking risk, okay? But yeah, y'all, I'm out. Peace.